previously on Tokyo Zebra. Good morning, everyone. We have a special one for you today. We are gonna be doing Thanksgiving. It took quite a little bit to get here, but we're finally here. We have a few friends coming over, but before we start, I kinda wanna show you all the work that went into going into this day. Check it out, we got the turkey. So the interesting thing about this year is turkeys are for some reason very difficult to purchase in Japan. Apparently they're not importing a lot of turkeys and when we looked online, they're only selling like really small turkeys. In fact, we contacted one of like the local supermarkets um, that sell turkeys every year and they don't even have them this year. But luckily, we were able to source one from a friend at the Yokota Air Base. They have access to the American supermarket there and they got us a turkey and we just got it right now. Nice. 14.07 pounds. We are about, I guess, a week away from our Thanksgiving party. So, perfect timing. This is beer. Yeah, good job. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Oh, God. What are you doing, Michael? I am making a brine. How's it going? Good. Like last year, I totally did not plan the time, like a leading time to like cool it down. But this year, I have three hours to cool it down and I didn't use the full water so I can put like the cold water to cool it down. It should be ready in like a couple hours and I can fry the turkey. So this year, it's basically the same recipe as last year. I have orange peel, garlic, salt, brown sugar, and rosemary, and bay leaves. It smells amazing so far. <laughs> so now we got turkey. I think the liquid is cooled down now, so I'm gonna open this up. Oh, for sure it's bigger than last year. Which side is chicken breast? This side is chicken breast. I think this is a chicken breast. Two. What you doing now? I am making a dam. Damn, that's cool. Damn. Can I have it? Uh, I, I can lower. You can also take this shelf off. It's Speaker? I should hold the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really heavy. Oh, uh, I hope it fits. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Oh, it's cute. It's done. It fit. You did it. Good job. All right. Good morning, Michael. How are you doing on the schedule? I am already behind. <laughs> yeah. Brine liquid is a little lighter than last year. Cold water, baby. Cold water, baby. Baby. So Wolfie is learning a lot of new fruits, vegetables, spices, like we try to just show him everything these days because everything is kind of new to him. You know what this is Wolfie? Avocado! Yay! Yay! Rosemary. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary. Oh, what is this? I don't think I want this. As many of you already know, Michael was born and raised in Japan and didn't grow up with Thanksgiving. So although she loves cooking, making a turkey doesn't come natural for her. Even after a couple years now, it's still kind of a challenge for her, but she's always up for it. So right now, Maiko just put the turkey in the oven. We have a couple hours before everyone gets here. Since homes in Japan are quite small, we don't have a lot of space. So we have to just kind of move the furniture around so people can all fit into this place. But yeah, this is our morning prep just before everyone comes. 
Um, let me just show you real quick over here. Probably haven't noticed, but we just moved the bed recently. We're just running out of space with Wolfie, and we wanted to like have kind of like a more open play space. So we opened this up a little bit here. Today, I think we want to try to move this guy right against the cabinets because we don't want the kids like opening up my ghost and stuff. Okay, so I gotta go back in. It actually doesn't work. It's Wolfie's. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our studio. You guys have probably seen it here and there. Um, usually the sofa is over here. All of my the actual camera, table, equipment, and everything is like sitting right here. But again, since like kids are gonna be here today, I wanted to get all of that out of the way and move it kind of over here against the window, and then have a sofa here so the kids can also play or people can just like sit in here. So for a couple years now we've received these Kiwico crates and as a parent it's been awesome to see these crates grow along with our son as they deliver cool hands-on projects and fun activities to our front door. It celebrates a concept of small today and big tomorrow, teaching kids creative and innovative confidence so they can grow up and change the world. It exposes kids to science, technology, engineering, art and math, helping build their creative and problem solving skills at home. We personally love it because they have crates for all ages, including our little one, between 3 and 4 years old. The Kiwico Koala Crate we received was developed specifically to deliver fun hands-on activities to engage the natural curiosity and creativity of preschoolers in play-based learning. And being a family overseas in Japan, it's sometimes difficult to find international friendly resources. So this monthly crate that includes all the materials and inspiration for projects related to a theme such as music, garden, and cityscapes is a really practical and convenient solution for our busy home. So get 50% off your first month of any Kiwico subscription today by using our code TOKYOZEBRA and link in the description. Oh, it's well, I trust you. I trust you. I didn't do any research. <laughs> so Japanese ovens come with various features called convect and kombi. I think convect means convection and kombi means combination. Last year the turkey came out a little darker than expected. So we're thinking that it may be because we chose the wrong setting. <laughs> <laughs> or simply the oven is just too small for the size of the turkey. I guess we'll have to see how it goes again this year. And I know that many of you commented last year, so we're taking some of that advice and applying it this year. But again, if you have any more ideas, definitely let us know. I'd rather have the inside cooked, right? cooked and have it nice than... I'm brighter. So far, so good. But since it starts to burn a little bit, just as you guys recommended, I'm gonna put a foil over. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the same mistake again like last year. So I think I just need to put over here. And yes, 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 Thanksgiving in the summer. Yes, we've been here before, I know. We're always more than a few months behind on the channel like always, as we're mostly posting on the main channel. But you know, we still love being able to share these moments with all of you, no matter how late it is. Today is gonna be a little bit different than previous year. Unfortunately, because of all the scheduling and Michael and I have been like so busy, we actually didn't plan ahead as much as last year. And so when we sent out the invites, like a lot of people actually already had plans, especially a lot of Michael's friends. Um, what ended up happening is I think everyone has been just inside of their house for the last couple of years. So I think people are like, starting to finally go out, make plans, have weddings. So a lot of Michael's like friends this year, which- They're traveling. Yeah, they're traveling. Yeah. So they couldn't come, but luckily, you know, my friends, they were able to come. And so there'll be some new people today, but you guys will get to meet all of them. So we got our first guest arriving. Let's see who's here. Whoa, what's up, man? What's up, what's up? The first one arrived was Eugene and his yes. girlfriend, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 
Shortly afterwards, everyone started arriving one after another. That's Otis and his son Q. And his wife Sarah is pregnant this year, and we're so happy for them. That's Andy. And you guys know Newton. Oh, and that's Pat and Mako from last year. That's Tomo and his little girl Eba, wife Aya, and their son Tomi. I'm incredibly grateful that we're able to celebrate Thanksgiving with our friends this year again. It's still so weird to remember that only a few years ago the whole world shut down and we couldn't see our friends and family. It makes me appreciate these times even more. Hopefully we can continue to share this US tradition here in Japan and continue to grow with the families that celebrate with us. And this year, the turkey, well let's just say it didn't burn as much as last year. But it was a bit drier than we expected. <laughs> we'll have to think about this one. At least we have next year to look forward to. Anyway, turkey isn't the most important part of the day. It's all about us being able to get together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Wolfie. He's helping us clean throughout the party and serve the guests. I still wonder where he gets it from. One thing I've noticed though is that Wolfie was interacting with more of the kids. Last year he was only one and basically liked observing people, but this year seeing him have fun and sharing the moment with other kids is priceless. Just watching him reminds me of when I was a little kid playing at family gatherings with friends and cousins. The pseudo playroom we created for the kids in our limited space apartment ended up working out as we had more kids this year than last year. And I don't know what it is, but when kids get together, they love getting crazy and wild. And as a father now, I'm more than happy to join the fun. We had drinks. Kids are going crazy. <laughs> I got a ball on my face and it's been a while since I got that so I'm like in shock still <laughs> but it's been so well, it's all worth it. Just look at them all growing up. One full year older than last year. Wolfie's friends in Japan. All right, so we're gonna cut off here. Thank you guys so much for being part of this Thanksgiving exploration into our lives. But we're gonna cut off here. So thank you guys so much. If you guys wanna see more videos like this or anything about Japan, hit the subscribe button below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.